Hello year one, uh, Mrs Savage here. Uh, this week in topic we are going to be looking at um, your life compared to what a child's life would be, have been like in the Victorian times and reviewing all the things that we have learned about um, Isambar Kingdom Brunel. So here, let's get started. So we have, um, so over the last few weeks, we've been learning all about Isambar Kingdom Brunel and his life. Uh, we've looked at his engineering ideas, the Maiden Hedge Bridge, the Suspension Bridge in Bristol, uh, the Great Eastern magnificent ship that he designed, and also what life was like for a child in the Victorian times. So the tasks that we've been doing over the last couple of weeks, you've um, built a bridge, drawn a picture of Brunel or one of its engineering ideas, you've created a boat, you've answered questions about him, you've written facts about him, and you've learned about life as a child, and you've played uh, your, some of your favorite games. So by reviewing uh, Brunel, we're going to just be looking at some pictures. So what can you remember about Isambard Kingdom Brunel uh, by looking at these two pictures? Do you remember who that lady is? Well done if you said that she was Queen Victoria. Do you know the name of the queen that we have now? Great work if you said Queen Elizabeth. So by looking at this photo, we remember that photography wasn't invented until Isambard was in his mid-30s. Um, it started out black and white, the pictures. People wore very different clothing, and especially Isambard liked to wear a big top hat to work, which many men don't wear nowadays. Uh, what about these pictures? Do you remember? Do you remember um, that we have here in the Victorian times, people used to use horse and cart to get around. Uh, we didn't have bikes, we didn't have cars, we didn't have scooters. Uh, this car down here is one of the first cars, but it was only the very rich that who could afford them. And it was near the end of Isambard's life when they were invented. What about this bike? I'm sure it looks familiar to you. This is a bike. Sorry, that um, I'm sure all of you have bikes some of are like this if you have a bike or you've seen them around because bikes weren't invented in Victorian times. So children didn't have bikes to go around in. What about school? What do you remember about the school life in the Victorian times? Do you remember by looking at these pictures? So children were in massive classes. So we have about 30 in Hopper 30 in Dyson and 30 in Braille, um, they would have had maybe double the amount, 60 children. And they used chalkboards, whereas we get to use pens or um, paper and pencil, or we get to use our whiteboard and pen or interactive boards. And children in Victorian times didn't have any of those. What about these two pictures? Can you remember what these jobs were? But wait. Those aren't men or women, those are children. And do you remember that? Children used to um, have to go to, oops, sorry. Children used to have to go to work. And the top picture was a chimney sweeper. And he had to climb up the chimney and clean it all out. And the bottom picture were children working in a factory on the machines, and it was very dangerous. Now put up your hand if you have to do those jobs. That's right, we're very lucky. Children don't have to go to work. Um, we get to go to school. What about these pictures? Do you remember? These were all the Victorian games that the children got to play with. And if we look here, TVs, iPads, phones, computers, scooters, none of those things were invented. And these top toys, were which the rich children got to play with. And these ones down here, or the poor children had to play with. They were made of wood, they had to make them themselves or just make their own games up. So we are very lucky in our time now. So we're gonna just do a quick sorting activity. We've got life in 1820 when um, Isambard uh, was a child and we've got life in 2020 when you are a child. So I'm gonna read the statement and I want you to shout out either 1820 or 2020. So here we go. Children had to go to work. 
Hmm, 1820 or 2020? Well done if you said 1820. What about all children go to school? 1820 or 2020? 2020. We are very lucky because it's the right all children get to go to school. What about this one? Children have lots of different types of toys. Hmm, 1820 or 2020? Super job if you said 2020 because in the Victorian times, children didn't have a lot of toys. Cars and bikes were not invented. 1820 or 2020? Super work if you shouted out 1820. People use computers and mobile phones. Hmm. Well done if you shouted 2020. That's right, because they weren't invented. Children don't have to work. 1820 or 2020. Great job if you shouted out 2020. So your task today is I want to see if you can write three things about your life that is different to what a child's life was like in the Victorian times. So here I've just got two simple pictures. You could draw yourself a picture. So let's write some together. Now I'm going to pretend that I'm a child or I'm, that I'm you or a child in the class. So I'm gonna start with I. So I'm going to think of three things that I get to do that a child in the Victorian times didn't get to do. So looking at the first picture, what did a child in the Victorian times not have? That's right, they didn't have a bike. So I'm going to write, I, now capital letter, like. Now like is a split digraph. I like to ride, another split digraph with an I sound. I think there's lots of I split digraphs in this sentence. I like to ride my bike. B -I -K. And then at the end of a sentence I need, well done, a full stop. I like to ride my bike. Now there are a lot of split digraph, I split digraphs in that sentence. Um, that's one thing. Let's think of another thing. What else? What about this picture? That's right, you think about if you have an iPad or a mobile phone or a computer or any type of electronic game, they didn't have those in the Victorian times. So I'm gonna write capital I, get to, and I'm gonna write the word play, p -l -a, p -l -a, and it's a a, yeah. may I play, play, I get to play on, my, now I'm going to write computer. So let's break that down. K, a, m, mm. I'm going to try that. K, a, m, mm. p. Now it's a tricky one. It's u, it's an a uh sound. T, and then f, er. I get to play on my computer. What about the third sentence? What else do we think life might have been different? What do you get to do? I know, that's right, about our toy. So you might say, I have, split digraph, the red word, lots, l, a, t, s, lots. I have l, a, t, s, of, a, v, toys, t, oi, s, full stop. So, that is what your task is today, to write three sentences about things that you get to do that children in the Victorian times um, didn't get to do. So if you'd like, you can then draw a picture at the bottom. Um, remember, post these on tapestry. Uh, Mrs. Mansori and Miss Hardgreaves and I really love looking at what you've done. Um, try your best. And if you can't quite remember, remember you can go back and look through the video of things that we talked about. And you can also look at our sorting activity. Okay, I hope you have a great week and I hope that you enjoy um, learning about things that you get as a child in the year 2020.